Hi guys, Hi. good to meet you, good to meet you. My first question for you, Roberto. Um, you're more renowned for kind of t writing at the moment. Uh, what was it about this film that kind of wanted, made you want to kind of get on board as a producer? Well, Gigi got the book years ago and working for years to try and get people involved that, that she agreed with. And when, when I was introduced to Gavin Hood, he had a clear vision of it. He had experiences as a young man that somewhat mirrored what Ender went through. So I thought, we thought, he, he might actually be the guy to write this. And he'd been great at adapting a book before. You know, he got the foreign uh, film Oscar for Satsi, an adaptation of a book. So I was not about to second guess, you know, someone like that walking in the room and, and really having a passion and a vision for it. Okay, and do you, does it kind of, when you're producing, is there, is there an urge to kind of get on, I'm, I'm sure you kind of work on the script as well, but does it kind of, do you have to kind of put that, that kind of script writing hat away and really concentrate as a producer, or do the two kind of meld together occasionally? Well, I like to think that when I'm working as a producer uh, with other writers, and I started in TV where if you're running a show or whatever, you're working with lots of writers, so you want to be there as a sounding board and as a, as a, as a help, but... I think we all felt like, thank God someone wants to try and take a crack at this. It's really hard. I hope, we, we wish him luck, you know. Good luck to you, pal. And, and he came back with the goods, I think we all felt. Great, great. Gigi, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, you, you've produced some impressive kind of independent stuff, but this is, I believe this is your biggest film to date, isn't it? What was it that kind of drew you to the material and take that kind of plunge? The material, that's exactly your question, it's 100% right, it was the material. Um, I didn't aspire to make a giant sci-fi movie, I aspired to make this story because I loved Ender's Game. My nephew gave me the book many, many years ago when he was young and said, wouldn't it make a great movie? And he was 100% correct, it would. And it was a long journey to get there and luckily we had people who were also fans who had enormous amounts of talent to help us and bring along. And I think the group assembled really I'm enormously proud of all of us as a group and what we've been able to accomplish with a very difficult piece of material. Your nephew should get producer credit. <laughs> he got a thank you. Okay. We don't give those credits that easily, I Bob. I got one somehow. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a quick question. Um, did, are you bringing a different set of tools as a, as a producer as well to, to a film of this scope as well? or is it, is it, do, do you find it kind of relatively the same as what your day-to-day -day work? It, I think it's similar, but the scale is obviously a lot bigger, and so therefore you have more moving pieces. I mean, there were times during the process where I kept thinking, oh, this is why studios do these movies. I think we all thought that. <laughs> um, there are hundreds of them, and there are only like five of us. Um, yeah. So, you know, it was a big scale, it's a big movie, there's a lot of moving pieces, but basically your skill set, if you've honed it, is the same, it's just more, which is why having really competent, terrific co-producers help you makes a big difference. And that's why you see many producers on these big movies. We actually all do mm. different things. Right. And we all bring what we what our skills are to the table. And on a big movie like this, you need that. You cannot do it alone. Yeah. Last question then. Um, has this kind of inspired you to go big again next time around? Go big or go home? <laughs> um, you know what? I like, uh, I always say for us, for Odd Lot, it's like having a mixed portfolio of stock. I love, we did a little movie this summer called The Way, Way Back, which I'm enormously proud of and loved. Um, we have a big movie coming up after this, not as big as this, but uh, a comedy after this called Mordecai. I like doing a variety of movies, and for me, it's about storytelling and material. That's Lovely. what drives it. Lovely. Thank you very much, guys, and good luck with the film as well. Thank good luck. So